Hello everyone. On behalf of our entire staff, I'd like to personally welcome you to the Emergency Reporting family and congratulate you on choosing the nation's premier records management system for fire, rescue, and medical services departments. As always, we'd like to remind you of our training opportunities. We continue to provide free training on the first Thursday of every month as part of our virtual Thursday series. In addition to that free training, we offer a number of options of paid training that include customized trainings for your department, as well as our various academy style trainings and summits, which are built for the full spectrum of our customer base and cover the whole ER platform. If you are interested in any of these additional training opportunities, please contact our training team via email at training at emergencyreporting.com. To review additional information about our training opportunities, please go to our website, www.emergencyreporting.com. This short video is a critical step in getting started. The goal of this process is to get you and your agency started on the right foot using our system. As you view this video, feel free to pause it as needed to jot down any questions we can help answer during your upcoming one-on-one -on -one live session with a regional trainer. If you haven't scheduled your administrator onboarding training yet, please contact our training team as soon as possible so we can get that booked. Okay, let's get started. The objectives of this video are to introduce the layout and functionality of the welcome page. We will begin at our login page which should look very similar to the screen, regardless of your work environment. But it will either be secure.emergencyreporting.com for most U.S.-based customers, secure.emergencyreporting.ca for our Canadian-based customers, or secure.emergencyreporting.us for our DOD and federal customers. It's a great idea to bookmark your login site for quick access in the future. At the login page, you'll notice periodic announcements just to the right of the username and password fields. Announcements you may see here include updates on any new features, new modules, and training opportunities. To learn more about any of these announcements, just click on the announcement you are interested in. Because these appear on the login page, all users can stay current with the latest exciting news from emergency reporting. Hopefully at this point, our implementation team has activated your account, added someone from your agency into the personnel list as the primary administrator, and sent that person an email invite allowing them to set up a username and password to gain access to the account. Please note, as mentioned earlier, we have three different customer groups. The importance of this is that the access invitations all have an expiration timer attached to them. The invitations to our commercial and Canadian customers are good for seven days from the day and time they are sent. And those sent to our Ultra customers are good for 24 hours from the time they are sent. If you have not received this invitation or it has expired, Please reach out to our support team by going to emergencyreporting.zendesk.com and sign up or log in to submit a support request to receive a new invite. This is another page that you will want to bookmark for quick access. Please feel free to pause this video and log into your account now so you can follow along with me as we explore the dashboard. All right, let's log into the system. Okay, now that we've logged in, let's start to explore the dashboard. There are many useful tools here. Remember, this will always be the first page you will see after logging into the system. At the far left is the module stack. This series of stack links is how you enter the various modules within the system. Clicking on any link will take you straight to the corresponding module. For example, if I need to enter an incident report, I simply click on Incidents. Now, here in the Incident module, you may notice a different user interface, 
and the module stack is not visible. This user interface is our legacy interface. All of the modules are being converted to the new user interface that we saw on the welcome page, one module at a time. To get the module stack to appear in the legacy user interface modules, you simply do a mouse over of the home button to make the module stack reappear. You can then simply move down to the module button where you want to go next, click on it, and it will take you right to that module. Please keep in mind that only the modules which the user has permissions for will appear in the stack. We designed it this way to keep both the clutter and frustration levels low. For example, very few individuals will see the administration link since there should be relatively few users that have full access to your agency account. Next, we'll take a look at the navigation bar at the top of the page. The navigation bar contains the suggest a feature, support, help, log out, and message center links. The navigation bar will have these links displayed on most of the pages as you work in the system. You will also see your name displayed there at the far right. Your name is a link and is a shortcut to the My Profile module of the system. For now, let's focus on the core buttons. The Support button takes you to the Support Center. Here you will find the Support Login screen and you will first have to create an email-based login to access support. This is different from your account login information and it is user-specific. Quick tip, if we have already had email correspondence with you, you can simply click on the Get a Password link and get set up. If we don't already have your email address, you can sign in through one of the listed social media platforms or click the Sign Up link. Please note that the sign up process through the social media platforms may require a few different steps based on your own security and authentication settings in those platforms. If you choose the sign up link on the next screen, you'll need to enter your full name and a valid email address. In a short bit of time, you'll receive an email from Emergency Reporting with a link to create your password. Upon creating a password that meets our security requirements, you will see all green check marks. Clicking on Set Password will lock your password and immediately log you into our support website. Once signed in, you'll arrive at the Firehouse screen of our support center. Here you will find links to our community forum, contact our support team, the knowledge base, and several other helpful resources. We will cover the support page more in depth in another video. Going back to the home screen, the last core button we will cover is the logout button. The logout button does exactly what you would expect. It logs you out of the system. Okay, quick recap. We've covered the login page, the module stack, and the navigation bar. We've also talked about core links and even learned a few tips along the way. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and we'll see you in Getting Started Episode 2 where we'll talk about system alerts.